Hi, what's up? We are Onili. <laughs> She's Onili. It's a band, but she's Onili. I'm Onili, and uh, he's Barak. Um, I'm Barak. The first record that we released was an EP called Games. Made it to the radio and to a big TV campaign for an Israeli fashion brand. And then we released our second EP, Sentimental. Sentimental was on uh, this TV show oh, called Life. <laughs> on NBC, Krauss. prime time. You don't even have a gun. I had it taken away. Shot as well. And then we collaborated with a fashion brand in France called Cotelac and made a few fashion items as well as an EP called First Kiss. A few months ago we released our first album in Israel. And now we are getting ready to release it in the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> Sex and drugs. We are working on a new album now. The, the tunes, we already played them live, so here is a little taste of it. Basta. Actually, it's the first tune that I made. So, uh, Basta, if you want to sue someone, it's me. <laughs> he produced the, the song and she, she did the beat. And it's not true, he did the beat. Dangerous is uh, one of our favorite rap songs. So, we covered it. Very influenced by friends. 
four Brits I used to listen to. Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, Rage Against the Machine, Led Zeppelin, Jimi Hendrix, a lot of rock. By the age of 19, I started listening to Prince and suddenly I got connected with my African roots, my black roots. Yeah, you may laugh, why, why does a white girl like me say that? But uh, it's true, I was born in Israel, but both my parents come from Morocco. Discovering funk and discovering groove thanks to Prince was like going to Morocco for the first time, being in the desert and feeling at home.